In my last video, we have configured the uh, robotarm URDF file to make it suitable for the uh, simulation in ROS. So we uh, added first, we added this uh, word link and the fixed joint for with the base link. Uh, then we added uh, the like we corrected the joints which were having the uh, like uh, which were having the lower limit as a positive and upper limit as negative. We just swapped the two values and then. Uh, we just uh, added uh, we added all the uh, the transmission tags for each uh, joint in our URDF file. Uh, we added the uh, simple transmission uh, transmission and the hardware interface and the uh, actuators to our uh, joint so that they can be controlled. Uh, like they can be given some motion and their uh, uh, like angle can be controlled. So we did it for each uh, joint. I have seven joints, so I have created it for all the seven joints. Then we added the uh, gazebo controller uh, pagi, uh, sorry, uh, plugin to our uh, URDF. Like this will be helpful to like it will be used to control the uh, states of our joint. The uh, namespace is just a slash because my uh, controller uh, file will not contain any namespace. I will uh, uh, explain it uh, soon, like uh, in coming minutes. And then we added the collision self collision tag for each link, uh, like so that uh, when they are moving, uh, if the small interference occurs, there will, uh, no error will be generated. Okay, so the uh, we have configured it uh, completely. I will uh, keep it open, like I want to explain you what this namespace is. So go to the document. So uh, you need to uh, like you will know about the controllers from this link. So first of all, open a new terminal, new terminal. Then uh, go to your workspace like a CD. I will use this symbol like this uh, to go to my home directory and uh, then my uh, workspace name like I have like I have only uh, one workspace starting with M. So I will just uh, type MOV and press tab. It will auto complete. Move it to workspace and uh, the SRC folder because our folder our package is in the SRC folder and your package name as I only have one folder in it so I will just press tab and it will auto complete and again I need to go to into config so I will uh, press uh, type C and press tab and enter so now I will just uh, expand it a little bit so you can see the file as well as what I am doing so here we have created uh, arrived in the config directory. Now you need to copy this command touch join trajectory like touch command is, is used to create uh, new files. So again back to the uh, terminal you can copy the uh, command from here the blue line blue thing only uh, control C go to your terminal and press control shift V. You just need to uh, press shift as well. And press enter. If you do, uh, like if you go to now, now what did happen? I will like we are already in configure, so config folder. So just press enter a command ls and it will list all the files uh, available in that. Uh, so the uh, SOLIDWORKS already created one, one file like joint names. Uh, which contains the joint name and currently we have uh, created this joint stair trajectory controller YML file using this command. So if you come here, if I go into my package and config so here, the new file is created, which is completely blank. And uh, the old file this, it will only control the joints which are which you can use for the controllers. So here like uh, first joint is blank because for first link there was a base link there was like no joint with word addition uh, when we created it. So there is a joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four, joint five up to seven. So we can use these joints for uh, writing our controller but uh, we will type it manually like then what you need to do is uh, like you can open it directly from the folder or you can go to the terminal and type like a G edit and the uh, joint trajectory controller YML and press enter. It will open the uh, file in a new window. Now here 
you just need to uh, go to here and uh, copy the whole file so the whole lines okay so here uh, i will just go to this that is a yml file uh, it is similar to xml but it don't contains that angular uh, brackets so now while you paste it here it will all will be at same indent level like zero indent level so the uh, in yml the hash uh, the line starting with the hash uh, denotes the uh, comment so i will just separate them for easy reading now here like if you don't change anything it will also work but i will tell you what you modifications you can make here so here this robot arm controller here you can give any name you want the hand ee like end effector controller you can name it anything this joint state controller you can name anything but the type here it is a standard one you can find the link to know about this in the document like this is the position controller slash joint trajectory controller which controls the position of your joints using the trajectory uh, joint trajectory controller uh, package or the uh, controller then again for hand effector controller as well we have used the same but here uh, for your the links which belong to your robotic arm you should write a separate controller for those joints and the joints which are from your end effector it should have separate controller group so that's why i have written these two controllers and the uh, work of this last controller is it continuously publishes the uh, states of all the joints uh, available in this controller like joint 1 to joint 7 at the continuous frequency rate of 50 hertz it publishes angles of all the joints continuously so just uh, let's configure this here you just need to make sure you indent it properly like the robot arm controller here the, we have started one controller the tags which are child of this you need to just add a indent here in yml files tab don't work if you add the tab like this it will give you error while you build your package so make sure you don't add a tab here i added the comment like you can use a two spaces instead of one tab like i will add two spaces one and two again do here one two so here the first controller is finished we started with second again it will the second controller will be at zero indent for next you need to again add two spaces here again two spaces here again for the third controller you need to add two spaces and two spaces now we are done make sure you are doing this indentation properly like this indent should be proper like here you, sh you can't use three spaces here too it will be messed up here suppose if this uh, type con tag contains any children then it will be having uh, like a four indent like the type usually i think uh, don't have any child but i'm just giving an example like type and if have suppose if have subtype then it will be at four indent level or a four space level so keep this uh, as it is save and close it you should not make any uh, spelling mistakes here you can uh, now again i will explain you what is the namespace okay so suppose some like if you go online you will find the files like uh, they will have here my robot colon and uh, they will have these like this So if you have the structure of the uh, controller file like this, so for this file, this my robot is the uh, namespace, and under this namespace, you have the one uh, robot arm controller, one hand effector controller, and one is joint state controller. If you have written your controller file like this, you need to copy this my robot name. Don't copy the colon. Go to your uh, URDF file, and here you need to paste it before the slash before the slash you need to give this namespace but i will not use any namespace so you just need to give a slash if you don't have any namespace okay so i will just do control z and control save control s okay 
uh, some like uh, again one another thing like if I have used this uh, square bracket but some of you may like uh, you will find online like this you can use anything like suppose joints colon enter again two spaces dash the hyphen space joint underscore one again here two spaces hyphen joint underscore two and up to number of joints you have this and this meaning is same you can use anything you want but uh, i usually prefer them to have one only single line okay so just uh, save this here the star will appear if you haven't saved it okay so we have saved again check if you haven't added any accidentally if you haven't added any extra space here here should be only two spaces indent because if you do uh, if you indented is uh, wrong it will not uh, load properly and it will give error like no controller is defined okay so just uh, close this now so we have uh, uh, written like we have configured our urdf file we have configured the cmake list and the dependency file we have written a controller for our arm our end effector and the joint state publisher to publish the joints the next is like now everything is ready our uh, package can be executed we can launch our file in urdf so we need to write a launch file to uh, load everything we written in a single terminal so in next video we will uh, write a launch file for our package to execute or load everything we needed so stay tuned and watch my next video to know about the uh, launch file like how to write the launch file thank you stay tuned